Welcome to this video on flash tweening. Uh, my name's Nev and I have my SharePoint first page open. You can get these notes from the notes page. You obviously know your class sites are there. We are now down in animation. I have got my SharePoint already opened here. Uh, in tutorial 6 we have our various different Oh, sorry, in uh, PG1 animation. Yes, I'm in animation with all the tutorials there. I'm in tutorial one, but I'm not going to work from SharePoint because of the time lag. I've copied all that down into my documents. I've actually on mine put it in public documents because I have different accounts. For you, you are better in my documents. Here's my tutorial one. I have opened the Word document here. These are just in case I want to check uh, later on. I'm going to create my own tweens from scratch. So I've also opened Flash. We're going to create a new Action Script 3 page. We're going to go backwards and forwards to the Word document to see what it says. You can see here the white my screen re resolution is smaller than yours but the white area here is the stage. If I click on the grey area at the back I'll get the document properties. Let's go look at our uh, Word doc and see what we should do with them. We need to uh, open the document properties, set the field, set the size to 300 by 200 and make a background colour. Alt tab 200 sorry 300 by 200 wasn't it tab 200 and I'm going to measure with pixels background color uh, yeah, that'll do. all right let me just check was it 300 by 200 yes it was now we're going to create a box in frame one create a rectangle and that's enough for a start. Let's go back here. We must be sure we are in frame one here. We better say OK. Frame one. With flash, you need to be sure of the frame you are working in. So my, fra my stage now is here. I might just enlarge that a little bit. 200 is probably too big, but it'll do for the moment. All right. Now I need to create a box. Let's just see what we've got here. Different. Yeah, there's my fill tools. It says later on that I certainly want a uh, blank stroke for the outline. I want a stroke here. I could change the color for the. No, I don't want that for the outline. I want a blank. Let me. Just... Sorry, it's a while since I've used this, so I've got to figure out the colors again. Here we go. Uh, here I want, no, I've got it the wrong way around. Here I want to pick a colour, make it a purple box, and here I want to have nothing for my colour. Right. Uh, we're going to create a box. Where's all my shapes? My goodness, I've forgotten my shapes. Uh, I thought that was here. Rectangle tool. There we go. So here's my rectangle up here. Make a fairly small one. All right, now we are going to let's go back here, see what we've done. I've got my box put on there. Convert the rectangle into a graphic object in the library. So select the selection tool, select the square, and convert to a graphic graphic by pressing F8. Call it graphic underscore rectangle. Alt tab. Now select, select, right click, and I could uh, convert to symbol here, or I could escape and I could just press F8. Convert to a symbol, GR underscore a rectangle. Now, is it a movie clip? No. It's a graphic, and we note it we're in our labeling. Okay, you'll notice that that has come up in the library. 
there's our graphic and I can put it onto the page anywhere now we are going to create a not a classic teen create a motion tween let's just check this with the instructions I'm going off the top of my head uh, create a motion tween this automatically by default adds 24 frames let's see these we are working in different versions of flash those tutorials were made in version 4 I think originally they were made in version 2 we are now going to create a motion tween ah, it has done 24 frames which is exactly one second of video I'm now going to create well let's just check I need to get into that last frame there we go I'm now going to create another keyframe insert keyframe and we'll do it position and I'm going to grab this and I'm going to put it down here well I might put it right down there okay if I move this playhead look at that it's created a tween All right. if I do enter we get to see the actual tween happen enter 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 right if I do control enter I get to see an SWF created untitled now we had better save our file file save as and I'm going to go into public documents PT1 uh, and animation and tutorial 1 flash sorry tutorial 1 and I'm going to call it <coughs> tween 2 ok save now let me just look in here can I see tween 2 not yet can I see tween 2 there it is I just had to refresh now in fact I'm going to put that over there I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to do control enter and watch what happens in here oh, we can't see it there but if I refresh uh, I'm going to just click here and do F5 F5 we should see that tween 2 has come out as an SWF in here tween 2 there it is tween 2 and tween 2 is playing where was it tween 2 is playing 